Hey guys, Casper here, and we are here to talk about the goodies bag. We've got objects, and we've got materials, and all kinds of fun stuff in the create mode, so let's head on over there and check it out. Okay, here we are on our classic blank level, and we are going to push our square button and open up our menu, pop it, and we are going to go up to this bouncing bag called the goodies bag, and it's called that because obviously there's lots of goodies in here, so let's check it out. Our very first page is our materials page, so this is the building blocks of little big planets so obviously everything's in here that you've been collecting in all of your levels all of your different colors of cardboard and metal and stone and polystyrene and everything else so and we've also got three object pages which we've got collected objects which you find in levels you've got my objects which are things that you save and we'll get into that and we've got community objects which you find on user created levels and these are things that people have built and then you can if they choose to put them as a giveaway in a level and you grab that bubble then you get to keep that object in here until you decide to uh, delete it so so in materials um, we've got the materials page and then we've got a sub menu page if you select one of these materials so we click the cardboard and then we've got this choose shape page so we'll get into that in a second but first let's look at our capture object which is basically if you make something in little big planet and you want to save it and maybe you want to make copies of it or you just want to use it at a different time you can always do that with this save object menu so let's create something unique here won't be too unique but there we go it's a donut cardboard donut the best kind and when we're in our capture object uh, we want to use the right joystick to size our dotted line box here so anything that's within this dotted line you see we're in a front view uh, so instead of an angled view in a 3d view we're kind of more in a 2d view which helps you select things um, so if you just want to select a little bit of it or a lot of something, uh, you can just size that up here, move it around with the left joystick. So we kept, we make sure everything is within the square or rectangle. And we click the X button, and boom, we've got an object. And so obviously this is just like another object I've created already. So, so we've got that object, and that item appears in my objects which is also in the goodies bag so we we're back in materials we've got our captured object so when we made the circle we went into the choose shape category so our first section in the choose shape is our properties so you've got a physics properties of dynamic object which shows a little racing ball and a static object which is a mountain so let's try making a static object here and we will make let's say we've got a circle we're going to make here as a static object now the difference is we didn't do this with our donut shape so we will back out of here completely and hmm, one fell one did not fall well, that's because this one if we look at the properties of it by pushing the square button we see that it's a dynamic object which means it's free to move around you can interact with it you can swing it from things you can push it around and you can connect springs to it and it'll bounce and a static object will not do any of that a static object just stays where you put it and it acts as kind of more of a, a grounded item so that's the difference there so if we go back into here again, we've got all these different shapes that we can pick, and this is just kind of like 3D paint brushes that we can use. So if we, even if we pick a star, if we go around like this, it doesn't actually turn into a star. But 
we've also got down at the bottom here, we've got a material changer. So let me go back and I'm going to make our basic climbing material and climbable. And if I push the X button, I have changed the material. So you can also do that. And we've got a sticker template. So if we want to pick a sticker here, we can make it that shape. So let's pick something funky shaped like this. Bomb Voyage Valet. So now I can make something in the Bomb Voyage Valet shape, which is kind of cool. So that's something you can do there too. So our next page, our collected objects, is basically things that you find in levels. Um, and they actually look like and act like real items in your level. So if I put this hat down, oh, looks like our bomb voyage was a dynamic object. So let's change that. There we go. And now this hat, we can step on it, we can walk on it because it's part of the scenery and that's because it's an object. The other things that look like objects but they're not objects are decorations. And we'll get into that. And decorations are found in our stickers and decorations menu. So we go here, collected objects. These can all be sorted like all the other menus. Um, I'll put up a link here so that you can go back to where we talk about uh, sorting and rearranging these visual menus. And then we go into my objects, which we've already seen. We made a my object. These are things that you create. Like here's a Little Big Planet 3. I didn't actually create this. I found this in a level. And I think in my community objects, which is where things that you find in levels end up, here we go, our Little Big Planet 3. So what happened was, is I put that down in a level, and then I saved it again with my capture object. And then it was a my object. So now it's in both menus. So and that's how that works. So the only other thing here is delete all community objects. So you probably don't want to do that. You can delete them one at a time if you really want to. Uh, say we've got this gun here and check it out. See, okay, pick this up in level. And not really thrilled with it. Not sure what it does. So I'm just going to delete it. So you get in the sub menu here. After pushing the square button, you see here it says use X or more is square. So we'll hit the square button and we will say delete. Are you sure? Yes. We can find that level again if we want. However, this item, I'm going to make an entire level based on this item here, which I'm not. I'm just saying that I am. In that case, what you might want to do is click on that square button again and click heart. And then we've hearted it, which if you want to find your hearted items, you go into personal here. And you've got tools and used objects, which these are things that you use all the time. And then you go over a page and then you've got your heart items. So here we go. We've hearted this and there it is. And so now we can place it all over the place anytime we want. So that is the goodies bag. And before I get crushed by all these things, we're going to say goodbye. So please subscribe for more videos and like this one if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.